Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov, where I just got to staring down what's going to be a road here to find I put a market stall in the middle of it. That's not going to work. So let's put that one out of his misery before we actually bring anything over to it. Otherwise, it's a long wait. Where do we put chicken eggs? That's what's got to be figured out. We can, do, we can go over here. It's a little more central to town, too. Eventually, maybe, well, chicken egg, chicken meat, and, you know, dried fish, if, you know, if we don't mess this up again next time, <laughs> could be a, a stall out in this half of town and a stall out in this half of town. That kind of works. What is our footprint here? So I can't drop another one right there. No. But I can get something back over here if I wanted to, or I can move the, the carts over a little. Carts. Carts. I haven't thought about carts in a while. Anything that we've done that would benefit from carts? Not really. Not really. And what's being brought in? The wheat is in and we're starting bringing potatoes. Okay. But only with, with only one crop, or one field of potatoes, that's only enough for us. We don't have enough to trade after that. The hemp's going to give us... Well, it's going to give us clothes. And we don't have a trader that can handle clothes, do we? You know, is this still... No, it's still not calling for... There, there, and there. Import. Yeah, that failed. Hmm. Okay. So no, no repairing that that uh, bad trade last time. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's do a market stall over here. How best? What would look good? We've got a good size gap forming in here. So right here. Yeah, I think right there. So here and spin you to something like that. Is that what we want? Drop you in there so I can see you. Something like that. Something like that. I think that works. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> so you're going to be... Let's do this again. Workers are going to be... Click and hold... Oh, it's not there. Okay, it's here. That's where I'm going. So, women, none, and that's it. Okay, you're going to bring over chicken eggs and chicken meat. And, oh, have you guys got chicken eggs already checked? You do. That's where the eggs are going. Okay, but nobody can do anything with it. So, actually, you guys can go pick it all up and distribute it. Hmm, who's working in here right now? Lots of people, okay. Okay, plus, so these guys could either get it from here or from there. But the one over here would just take it from here. And we've already got four eggs and 1.8 meat because you are making a massive delivery. No, you're not. Where are you going with that? You, no, you... No. Where'd all that chicken meat just go? Didn't it say there was four? No, maybe it didn't. Four chicken eggs. Okay, I thought there was more meat than that. I thought a whole bunch just vanished. All right, never mind that. Okay, so you have got those. Let's also set you up for the dried fish. Is there a fourth thing that we may eventually get that would go here? We got beef already going to the other ones. Though this could be a beef distributor as well. Sure. Meats and eggs. This is the protein seller. Yeah, I like that. And you're set up and ready to go when someone jumps into that job. A lady, which is a problem. Yeah, I think it is becoming a problem. Are there any lady jobs that could be turned into guy jobs to free up more ladies? Meaning, let's try a guy here. Let's just see what, what happened. So, Although these are always going to be in fairly small... Although we're going to have a lot of chickens moving in and out of here. We saw how fast they're multiplying. So we could bring larger quantities here. All right, let's try that. Do you instead. I'll do both. A little random chance whoever's available. And one more of these out over here somewhere to distribute to this area. Um, where to? Looking at this job being over here, I may be closer to these guys. But it would still service these. Hmm. 
right in front. So we got the warehouse sitting back there and we'll have a stall and eventually a series of stalls. Okay, there, spin you around, uh, that button right there. So a stall, a stall, and then a stall and a stall. That sound about right. But do we need to touch? Or do we? Is there a problem with touching? Do we need a pathway between? I need to make sure there's a pathway in front. Um, right there, you can see the how far the orange goes in front. So I got to make sure that that. Okay, it's about the same as the shadow. It's a little bit less than the shadow. So if we put the shadow right there, we'll hit the middle point. So it's about like this. That gives us a path behind in case a cart does need to travel through there. In fact, I could. I didn't think about that. I'm going to lay them all, all out right now and only use one. Okay, I like that. There. And you're going to be right there. And then spin you around. And I can't make them line up. Oh, that just drives me nuts. Okay, well, we're going to call it a problem with perspective. Yeah. Oh, I want to snap too. Okay, well, you're going to be kind of like that and a little bit on the crooked side, and you're going to be kind of like that. I guess you really can't tell. Nah, not really can. All right, you get to be chicken eggs and chicken meat. And dried fish, though we could do milk out here too. There just isn't enough milk to, to supply a town. There never seems to be enough milk. So we'll go back with beef. And we will also just throw in a worker, but there'll be no... Well, my screen just flickered. In fact, both my screens flickered. Hmm. Hopefully I didn't break the recording. Now it looks like it's still going over there. Okay. Everything flickered off and back on again. Um, okay, so that's there. One worker is, let's try that again, and she jumped right in because there were people over here looking for a job. That's it. Okay, so you're there, and this one, did it ever hire? It did not. All right, well, at least somebody will be coming out here to haul. In fact, if she's going to be there, then I really need to allow male haulers to jump in and bring a cartload over there once in a while. Okay, so that takes care of another job over there, and takes care of our opening up our road here long term we need to be working on this farm and we are it's getting there got uh, three guys bringing things one just popped out but I didn't see him oh means he just brought his cart back and dropped it off at a cart stall okay now do we want carts out in this area there's that to think about carpenter was over here I never to check to see if he was employed he's been employed this whole time oh there's work that could have been you know, somebody could have been doing other jobs. Carts over here. How would that work? Hmm. This guy grabs a cart, goes off, picks up, drops it off. If he wants, if we you know, hemp, which we're going to be going over here, he will grab the cart, go get the hemp, drop it off, and then drop off the cart. To put the cart at the source of the supply means he's got to walk over, get the cart. Go over it, drop it off, go back over, drop off the cart, and then go over and go back out home. So it's double the trip if the cart is at, you know, where the material source is versus where the job source, you know, the, the, the end of the route is. So putting a, is there anything else in this area that's going to need a cart and be the source of the job? I don't think so. So there's really no reason to place carts out here. Maybe eventually this could use a cart storage. It probably could. No, no, it wouldn't. This is just the same thing as the farm. Um, because they just they hand carry the logs in. Anybody going to get firewood or whatever, they're going to want to go from their source, which would be one of these, and walk over, you know, grab a cart, which is right there and then make the long trip and then make it back and then drop off the cart. So there's just no reason for carts out here. If you can think of something I'm not, let me know, but I think we need to get more 
sources out here uh, another firewood supplier somewhere and a cart set up for that person sort of a thing anyway you are working over here bringing over clay bringing over wood then we will supply that clay supply the rest of that wood nails are already here and we'll throw this place up pretty quick and then we'll just be thatch waiting okay so that's going in and kick the speed up a little bit how the chickens doing we've got 28 eggs in storage so we need to start to uh, start using these we're making hens like crazy um, I guess we could take this up to 10 I don't know what to do with that and of course as I mentioned before I'm recording a whole bunch of episodes in a row so I'm, I don't get the benefit of you guys' input in between so if you've left comments the last couple episodes and I'm still doing the, th the same thing wrong each time hopefully I'm not not a whole lot you can do wrong here then uh, that, that's the reason why I'm, I've taken some time off of recording RimWorld to get a batch of these done. I need to get back into RimWorld. My business is picking up and getting a little bit crazy right now, so I don't have a lot of time for recording, so I can't really run two series simultaneously right now. Um, didn't notice or miss any of these guys. No, okay. Fish. We toned that down to two. Where are we? We're at the middle of November okay so we've got two and a half fields cleaned up so we'll get into the end of December we should be about finished here though there's only one person doing the work right now well I guess labor is a popping in and out but she's taking a rest and she's taking a rest <laughs> so ah, someone else just came in and, and oh she's she's taking a rest too mm -hmm. yeah oh the Ostra life is is good Lots of vacations built in. You guys are... I guess we got a river about to freeze soon. I was going to say we could pop in another fishing dock to create more jobs if we needed, but we've already got 17 fish. I can't sell fish. So there's no point in getting more than the town can use. So that doesn't benefit us. All right, so over here, where are we at? Waiting for two more clay, which is your, you grab the cart. Now you're off to get clay over here and drop it off and then go put your cart away. Okay. What else is there to do right now? Still working on this one only to the extent of taking the trees down. It's quite a ways down the list here. This well was which one over there? It's not truly needed, but it is a fast job. We could kick that up into, uh, oh, about there. That'd be fine. Yep, yeah, that would work. Okay. So I did set this guy to five firewood. How's that happening? Two out of five. Hmm. Uh, ten wheat, but we're doing firewood. Wheat over here. We've got about ten sitting there. We got ten sitting in here. And whole town wheat. Where are you at? There you are. Nineteen. So that's all of it. So nothing is still sitting in the granary. Right. Okay. That one's almost done. Lots of ladies still filing into here. So we do have still lots of ladies available for jobs. You ended up being a guy so that you could bring ah, bring eggs in in large quantities. I wonder what quantities we're looking at. So you're heading over here and you're picking up what? You're picking up meat. There was meat awaiting on the list. And 0.1 chicken meat. You just happen to be on the same path. Our guy is still over here. Right? No. Then what are you? Who are you? Right there. You're bringing up one whole chicken meat in a cart. The other person just picked up one-tenth of a chicken meat without a cart. And you're going to here. Hmm. So that's one guy in a cart. We have two guys working here now. And they're going to be bringing stuff in like crazy. Is that good? I don't know that it is. Our wheat's going to head over there really fast then. Let's... Oh, wheat is off. Okay. We don't want sunflower in there. We don't want wheat in there. 
Okay. Do we want, yeah, we do want chicken meat in here, but you're going to get all of it going so fast that to supply this one, okay, well, to supply that one, that distance to there is really not much different from that distance to there. So I guess that's fine, whether it's here or there, you're about dead center. So maybe that doesn't matter as much. Potatoes you're going to get in here in large quantities. So potatoes to the trader versus granary to the trader. That's about the same distance too. So I'll just give these guys something to do. They're going to haul it all to this point here. Glad we don't have to worry about uh, disasters, you know, town fires and things like that yet. I'm sure that'll be in the game at some point, but it's not so much an issue right now. All right, well, let's just kind of roam town here and see what's what's happening. So over here, what's happening? Uh, we got milk, we got fish, potatoes, we got a freeze, and you guys are almost done. Good. So once those last few come in, there'll be no more laborers in the system. We've still got water and hay. Messenger from ooh, that's Chicken Town, right? That is live chickens. They want to sell us hemp and wheat. Hmm, and they want to buy sunflower oil and we kind of do almost have it. Wait a minute here. Let's slow down and think about this. We just we just did a crop of sunflower. So well, it looks weird from down here. That's where I want. There's been nobody working here. Uh, you've been bringing it in. Sunflower, only one. Because you've been busy doing other things. We don't have a whole lot of sunflower. And sunflower is not allowed in here. No. So, really, all total, we're looking at um, reserved, awaiting. So, four, five, six. And you are one of those. So, seven. Not a lot of sunflower, which means we'll make twice as much oil. So there's potential 14 sunflower oil, and we can sell that just here in town. Our total, we were at 440 when we made that bad trade for the dried fish. We're at 447. So we're maintaining with what we're doing. We're not gaining mass quantities. It'd be nice if we did have a major sale of something so that we could afford to buy a whole bunch of cattle. Cattle, that was the plan for this episode, wasn't it? It was. All right, let's get you hired. Who's going to do the job, though? There are no houses out here. That could be a problem. Let's hire a lady, and let's kick the pay up two notches and see if someone takes that job. Once that's done and we've loaded it up, then we can move some cattle over there and have enough in reserve in case she leaves the job. Although we do have a house over here. You need a job? You're the shoemaker shop. You're not gonna let go of that job. That's a good one. Market stall and click too high and a laborer. So she may be willing to jump into this. Female laborer, that would be jumping into this job right here. Zil Zirka? Zirka, that was you? That was you. So when you're done here, which Okay, is done with the last load of this coming in. You're her. Okay. Once that happens, you'll probably take a month off. Then you go look for a job and you'll you'll jump into this one. <laughs> Let's get the pasture for this one. Now, we want to get hay somewhere. I want to get a well somewhere. This is the road here. So that somewhere is over here. A well and three hay dryers, two hay storage. And where do we want more food, more markets? If the road curves off over here. We could do another triangle like we did right in here and put another market area in that triangle. Kind of like that. I like the design of that. It doesn't look as good in the winter, but it's a nice little break in the town. Yeah, we'll do something like that over there. So then just hay dryers, hay storage, and... Well, hay, straw, whatever it turns out to be. And then um, water in here. So that's, now that I know what's going there, let's kind of lay those out. And that will help me to figure out where I have left for a pasture. Uh, you right there. Do we want the water closest to here or closest to the houses? The water's going to have to stretch out. No, nope. could we, we could do another well, right? Well, there wasn't a well in this design. It was off to the side. That kind of worked. 
If we did a well over here, and then more houses somehow feeding into this, so the wells between all of those, and then a well over here. So that means we could do, let's rotate you around to face the sun, and a road's going to cut through a lot of that. So let's kick this back a little bit. Something like this. And lost ya. There. There. And then if we went here, let's leave... Hmm. So what's left? A well and the dryers. Well, let's try that. We can delete it really easy if it doesn't work. So you're going to go there. And I'm just wondering how far this way I can I can make this pasture, or do we just do a really long one out over here? So let's go with a well. And you will be probably, well, that's the business end right there. I was thinking it would fit this pattern well right here, but it's not necessary. So business end, this direction, which puts the hay dryers in here, which is kind of our pathway if we have a pathway. There isn't any sense of a pathway other than that just it's the end of the field here. Hmm. So hay dryers there, the well back over here. Boy, I want to use different keys for the, uh, the rotating of these guys. That just feels too far away. This is all pasture over here. Okay. So if we were to do this kind of a thing. We could do something like that. Let's spin around and see that from the front, from the road end. Now we've got a pathway right there, and that's going to completely, it's going to put a log right across the pathway. Don't like that. Have to be over here, which means this has to go away. I think this has got to go. Demolish. That gives us more freedom. So in that case, let's put a well in where? Or over here. Well like that. Well like that. Let's get the hay storage in first right there then. So you probably should face the hay or face there. Let's spin around and face here. Like that. Parallel that looks pretty good. Road looks about like so. And in enough so I can get two of you alongside each other and not invade that circle there. Something like that. I don't really see a reason for a third other than if these cowshed workers actually want to you know, put in some overtime and get to work on this, we could get some backup over here for when something goes wrong because we never did get any more out of this. For some reason, it just kind of died. And we'll have a backup supply somewhere in town. All right, so those are going to go there, and that leaves a well somewhere in this area. Business end. The people walk out of here, the cowshed workers. So really that needs to rotate the other way and it makes it a little more easy to get to by the town folk. Meaning these four houses, this will be their closest well to the next one is built. And I think I need to touch that just one tick that way. No, it just won't give me, there's kind of a half a tick. Yeah, we'll have to make that work. So distance wise, let me see it from here. That's looking pretty good. Boy, it's hard to move just a little bit. There. You touch there. That looks a little better. And right about there. Is there any problem with that? Do they, can they walk through the well? Can they walk through to get to the hay on the other side? We have any example of yes we do they can walk through it okay so that will be fine then right in there let's spin it this way again and you are there all right so you're there we want you to move up a little bit higher probably like so the other one was which well it was one over here that one's actually being used all right so we'll move you back now this one, we need 19, this is, I believe, one of the fixes in this update. It never displayed the materials before, so we never knew what was being hauled. So that was always kind of a mystery, it was a blank slate here. So now we can see what's happening, and we're actually constructing it, 
and we went on a break. <laughs> no, we're awaiting another board. Okay, we got one more board coming. Um, which is, you're going off to get a cart, aren't you? You're going all the way over here to get a cart. Or are you dropping off a cart? I don't know. Hmm. It was connecting from cart to cart, wasn't it? From cart to cart. I don't know how to explain that one. You dropped off one cart, finishing one job. You took the next job, and you're going over to the nearest cart to that job to then go all the way back to get a board. <laughs> okay, chickens, how you doing? We have got 10 of 10 breeding eggs. We've got 2.2 chicken meat over here. We've got no eggs left. So we've hauled a whole bunch of eggs over here, haven't we? Eggs. Eight, only eight eggs. So we've hauled a bunch of eggs to here. We've got 20 eggs sitting over here now. And then over to here. We've got four eggs and 0.9 meat. How much meat over here? 0.9 meat. And over here, 2.2 meat. And over here, one point. So about two meat. Okay. So chicken parts are being distributed. Money is still in the 440 range. So we're we're gaining and losing and gaining and losing. We're staying fairly level. Um, looking here doesn't help much other than balance of that and balance of that because we made big purchases each year and we didn't sell big sales to offset them to zero ourselves out so we were in the sevens and we went to the sixes and then we went into the fours mm -hmm. okay let's see so what is the goal right now did we get somebody hired over here we did we have hay and we're waiting for water so once we get to like two hay let's kick the speed up again then I'll be comfortable of moving some of the livestock over. We wanted to check the pasture and it seems to be working. No ghost cattle in here. No cattle statues. No, yeah. No cattle issues going on, good. And we haven't torn down any cow sheds so that we've got no living statues standing in them anymore, like last town. So all in all, this town is going pretty glitch free. I am happy with this. Um, water's there, two hay is there. All right, let's make this happen. And anything else we're waiting for while it's happening? Got that well to finish, that well going on. Then we're gonna start building a house over there. We've got to get the farm done. That's what it is. They go for wells first. I've noticed that before too. They jump right into a well in the middle of the queue. So water seems to be kind of important to them. It's understandable. All right, so slow you down. Let's just talk about cattle, then we'll call this one done. Over here, I want to get one good bowl. Put a one-year bowl. Now I can just grab and drop, right? Yeah, one-year bowl over there. And a two-year cow over there. And then scroll you down a bit. Let's do a couple more two-year cows over there. You moved. Oh, it goes back to the top every time. Uh, or one-year cow over there, yeah. Right there and there. It leaves us here with a bowl, three cows over there, a bowl and three cows. And then we got four bowls all kind of, yeah. I think there's our, our winter shoes. Let's do that. You are the slaughterhouse. Let's turn you on and let's put, let's send four bowls through. One, two, three, four. That worked. Then we've got still a bowl. So we got three, four bulls that were cows. All the cows this summer were born bulls. Hmm. We are going to be looking at oxen, though, for this. Let's pull back on these two. And we'll oxen and plow this farm here momentarily. In fact, that's probably a good topic for next episode. And we still have a good person working there. Hey, you're not going after more hay, though. Hmm, we're going to need hay out of here to get that one stocked for the winter. We could have a little bit of a hay issue here this year. Though we're not bringing more cattle in. So the same cattle, same, you know, same cattle exist. In fact, we're going to get rid of two. So we're not feeding more mouths. We're just spreading them out. There'll be two over here. So we're going to grab hay for this one also once the, the oxen start up. 
Hmm. Yeah, so next episode, let's worry about that farm and getting all the cattle distributed. Hopefully, we'll get uh, new hay forming in all three, which we didn't lay out. Let's do that real quick, then we'll call this done. You, hay dryer. All right, so you can go now over in this area. We'll rotate you around so that the shadow, there you are, is behind you. So, got sun exposure and, oh, we didn't set the pasture. So we'll tuck that in just a little bit tighter. Uh, T, right there, yeah. And now we'll pasture with what's left. So you, pasture, let's grab from something like that to the front of about there. I'm hearing lots of little blip blips in there. So you gotta come back a little further. Right there, there, and there. Send you across like so. And we're still touching by quite a bit right there. Okay, so bring you back all the way to here. Like so. Now you're there, so about like this. That is about the most pasture I can get out of there. And you're a little wonky, but you're, you're, you're parallel with these guys. So the building itself is wonky. Output 10. I don't know what the output was over there. This looks pretty close. We'll go with the 10 over here. I don't know how many cattle per output they want. 20 is, or 17 was just fine over here. 10, any reason to go further? Got no need for a, a road over here. So we could go further. Yeah, we could do that. Um, don't want to risk not getting that tree done before they need to go outside. So let's just go with the the 14. All right, so you're there and you are without doubt associated with cow shed. Okay, there's no question what is what there. All right, so we've got in two water, two hay, basically, and we're getting another hay in, good. And still got, there she is, and there's still plenty of hay for everyone else. You've got your almost four hay in there. And was there, no, there wasn't. So as far as trading goes, we just don't have any sunflower to sell, and I don't want to buy anything more, unless it's something that we can resell. We've got plenty of chicken meat and chicken eggs in the system now, so there's no point in getting more to slaughter them, to just have us sit in a in a storehouse. So I think with that, all of our T's are crossed and I's are dotted, and next episode we're going to deal with this. All right, it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and catch you next time. Bye-bye.